So today we're gonna do tahina with a twist. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna do it with a little Greek yogurt in it. And so we're gonna use sesame seeds that we toasted in advance. And then we're gonna take this Greek yogurt that's, you know, Greek yogurt is so tart, I so love acidic. Greek yogurt. And so that's our little play of acid and fat. So we're gonna just put our sesame seeds in here. This is gonna need a little agitation as it grinds. Okay. Oh, wow. Smell. It's the best part, huh? Mm. Love opening yeah. up the spice grinder. <laughs> Smells so good. Okay. So now we're gonna go, say, we saved our bowl. We're gonna go right back in our bowl. So this is like the consistency of wet sand a little bit. You can see how the oils have come out of it. Lemon juice, mm -hmm. olive oil, garlic. Get it off, the garlic. Right? Yes, please. <laughs> Greek yogurt. And then chili flake. And whenever your chili flake sits where something has acid like this, the heat will continue to rise. Okay. And so this might be a little spicier tomorrow than it is today. So if it, you're gonna use this in another day. Maybe save it. Maybe go a little less. And add it later, okay. And then we have water that we're gonna put in there. And so I'm just gonna give this a quick mix, like so. Okay, so. This is so easy to make, there's no excuse to buy <laughs> tahini ever again. Now what we want to do is I want you to taste, okay. because we are going to add lemon zest, and lemon zest is really powerful. And the thing is, is we added a little lemon juice mm -hmm. to this recipe, it definitely still needs some zest. Whenever I'm adding lemon to a recipe, I like to taste to make sure that my acid levels are correct. We have a microplane. My favorite tool. You love this tool? I do. What am I doing this for? <laughs> How did you know it needed acid? Um, because we think about what it, everything is giving the dish. We used a large amount of sesame seeds and we didn't have enough acid to cut through the fat of the sesame seeds. So we're gonna add a little more. I think you're good. I didn't good. know how much zest um, you wanted there. I think just one. One lemon to start? One lemon to start okay. and we'll taste it. And it's important to not get the white in there because the white is bitter. Yeah. And always bang, 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 bang. <laughs> get it all in there. And the consistency is just where we want it. Just go like this. And something like that. And then really quickly, just take your wrist and go like that. Oh, cool. And that's going to make a nice spread on our plate. It's also handy if you're <laughs> tiling your bathroom. <laughs> just it's all in the wrist? It's all in the wrist. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Here we go. That's See, good. you don't need to go to a fancy restaurant <laughs> to get good plating. You can do it at home. Oops, there's a little lip on the... You're okay. So you can kind of come at it the other way. I was getting too, I was getting too cocky with, the, <laughs> with my table art. You want this in every bite with those falafel? Because nothing is better than falafel no. and tahina. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be wanting to lick this plate as soon as you try it.